Hello guys. In this video, we will create our first geodatabase and we will create a featured dataset inside of it. And inside this dataset, we will create feature classes. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to our advanced folder. And we are going to create a new folder. We will call it California. And inside this folder, I want you to copy three raster files from uh, the course data to this folder here. So we will go to the course data where you downloaded it and you will go to California. You will copy this three raster images and you will go to your course data and you paste it here. So now when you go back to our catalog, you will find it right here. So this we are going to use it in the next videos, but now we will create a new file geodatabase and we will call it California and double click on this file geodatabase and right click and say create a feature dataset. So here's the thing, you cannot create a feature dataset outside of a geodatabase. So if I come to the folder here, I right click, you will not find the option to create a feature class or a feature dataset. These two main things you only created inside the geodatabase. So as you see here in the options, you have some limited options here to create like shapefile and the layer and a toolbox. But when you go inside the geodatabase, you have so many different options. You have a feature class, you have a feature dataset, you have a raster catalog, and you have so many other options like a relationship class as well or table. And the feature dataset is mainly used to add feature classes that takes the same spatial reference. So when we create a new feature dataset, we can name it California as well, DS. And here the only thing you will do is to choose what spatial reference you need to set up for this uh, feature dataset. Because every single feature class or table we create inside this feature dataset will use the same spatial reference we give to the feature dataset. So here I will go to geographic coordinate system and I will scroll all the way down to world and I will choose WGS 1984. I'll do next. We are not doing any 3D right now, so we will click next. And here, just to give you an idea, here it tells you what is the degrees between every single point on the map that considered the same point. If you have a lat or long value, that is bigger or smaller than this value right here, it will be considered the same point. Same thing for the Z value, same thing for the M value. So we are just gonna keep everything here the same. We'll click finish. And now we have our feature dataset. Now we will create four different feature classes inside our feature dataset. These four feature classes will represent California when we start to draw it. So we will go inside our feature dataset. We will right click create new feature class we will call it cities and alias cities and we'll choose point features and we'll keep the m and z value the same we'll do next keep this default and we will add fields we will call the first one city name and it will be text value another one will be lat it will be double the second one will be long and that will be double and here we will save our lat and long values for the point feature we will create and just to give you an idea between the difference here short and long integer is basically like uh, numbers if you enter numbers only and short one is minus 32,000 or up to uh, 32,000 long integer is a larger value if you will save a larger value in this field Float and double is decimal numbers. Uh, text is just text. Date is date. Blob data type is used if you are going to attach an image. So for example, if I'm creating cities and for each city, I'm going to add attachment as an image, it will be saved in the blob uh, attribute. Uh, Geo ID is global ID and it's used to uh, generate automatic IDs for every single feature you create. So let's say for example, we can have this here GeoID so I will show you what the GeoID do when we create the features and we will choose GeoID. 
Also, we have type data type raster if you are going to attach raster data to this feature. So here we defined our fields and we will finish. Now we have our cities. We now we will create the next feature class. We will call it freeway, freeways. And alias the same. It's going to be polyline type. And next, next, here we will add freeway ID and we can add also its text and the second field will be length and it will be double and we can also add GUID here as well it will be type GUID and we click and finish the third one will be counties it will be type so this one we are going to use to draw the counties of California it will be type polygon next next we'll add a field called county name it will be text we'll add another field called area and here we will save the size of the area for this county we'll make it double and here we will create geo ID as well choose geo ID finish and we will create our last feature class it will be we will call it OC underscore cities and this one will represent the cities of Orange County in a polygons so Orange County cities and it will be type polygon one of the things I want to mention here is the difference between name and alias so name is used inside the J database and to structure the data in the background so names cannot have spaces and cannot be very long so for example if I have a space here and I say next it will tell me that the, uh, it's invalid class name it cannot have spaces so I will put back the underscore and for the alias you can name it however you want no limitation here of adding a space because the alias mostly you will use alias for representation if you want to create a map and you want to share it with someone or if you want to represent it it's better to use the alias instead of using the name uh, and that's why we have here a short name with underscore without any spaces and here we can type the entire name so we choose polygon we go next next gonna add city name same thing for the fields we have the city name here as a name and when we choose a type text see here down here you have the alias the alias I can change it to with a space that's fine but I cannot I cannot have space into the field name I can have it in the alias only the second thing here in this option say allow null values if it's yes that means I can leave the field that called city name empty when I create my features, if I want to add a name for each feature and I want to leave some features empty and then I can select this yes. If I select it no, that means ArcMap will give me an error if I didn't fill up the city name field when I create new features. So usually we'll keep it yes because we don't want to get any errors in case you want to leave some of the data empty. And default value here is if you want to have default value every time you create a feature it's better to add it here for example I can add here city name and every time I create a new city feature this field will have a city name inside of it and here the length say how many characters because it's type text how many characters will be allowed in this field so here it's 50 so I cannot type any city name more than 50 characters you can change it to however you want so we can make it 100 here so I will keep the allow null value no because we have a default value so we will not get any errors and uh, when we start adding our data I will show you what the default value does and what allow null value does as well and also what is the length I'll put the length back to 50 and I'll show you what it does so remember that when we create our orange county cities we need to check these three things and we will add another field here called area it will be double and here we'll go geo ID and if you notice that for geo ID because it's an auto-generated global ID when we chose 
global id we don't have the other options like allow null because it cannot be null and there is no default value because it's auto generated by arcmap and it cannot have a specific length because it's a very specific id that you cannot even change so here we're gonna say finish so now we have our folder california that have three different raster data one is gif one is jpg was one is png we are going to add it to ArcMap in the next videos and we have our geodatabase, California geodatabase. Inside of it we have California dataset. Inside of it we have four feature classes. And we will use this data in our next video to add it to the map and see how we are going to use it. Thank you.